subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone, I'm back at one of my all-time favorite charity shops, the Catholic Charity Guild, also known as the Charity Guild Shop. And today I'm going to show you some things other than the normal China Crystal Silver. I've had some viewers ask for furnishings, home decor, and lamps, so we'll focus on that. And I'll also explain the pricing. Many charity resales follow a separate pricing policy where the price goes down over time, and I think that will help you get some better deals. So come along and let's see what they've got today. It's always a great day when you're at the Charity Guild Shop. We had a bit of a detour on the way. We stopped at an estate sale, which was fabulous. And now we get to come in and see what's new at the Charity Guild Shop. As promised, I will showcase some furnishings. This is the Queensland Crimson design. I don't know if you remember the fabric from the 90s. I had curtains in this. It's a bit outdated, but I still like it. And the price is right for this settee. And you could, of course, reupholster it. It's a very feminine look. And this grandfather clock is also a display cabinet to the left and right. You can showcase a collection and it has already been sold. That will look lovely in someone's foyer or living room. And their display cabinets are just beautiful. There are so many different styles and great prices here on furnishings. Look at that, that's a Drexel. And this is great for a modern home. And the price is right. I like the glass knobs on this chest of drawers. That could even go in just about any room of the house. And this looks like an older piece, a mahogany antique washstand. This lamp would be great for an entry table. You could put calling cards on it. Looks colonial. And you know I love English antiques with the beading and the barley twist legs. This needs a little bit of TLC, but I think it could look really great. And the price is right, unbelievable. I wish that I had more space in my home to showcase some of these pieces. Great storage here. You could put a drawer liner. You could even put a backing inside, something of interest. And bar stools are actually harder to find than you can imagine. I've shopped for the college kids and I can tell you that um, these are new pieces. And I think for two pieces, 290, that's really a good deal. And again, perfect for a college dorm with two chairs. This English table can be expanded easily. Looks like it's had lots of love, but it could still have some more life in it. And this rush seating here is in perfect condition. Look at that for eight of them, 395. That's a steal. Wouldn't this be great storage in a dining room? You could even feature this in a bedroom. I really like the look of the sofa. I wouldn't put these pillows with it, but it's a nice kind of a claret color. Looks to be in great condition. I'm sure it came from a fine home. This is the Thomas Tompion clock from Howard Miller. I bought mine on Shop Goodwill for a steal. That's still a good price because I think they retail about 1400. And lots of clocks. I've never heard of Gilbert. Here's another Howard Miller, $50. That's a steal. They do a really good job of organizing things here. They have a religious section. Let's look at this couch again. I'm really liking this for a den. Would go with a farmhouse look as well. Or you can mix it with more traditional. This is obviously very antique looking. You could certainly recover that little retro look. And the price is right on this Duncan Five. I like drop leaf tables because they don't take up much space, but yet if you had company or you needed a buffet for a party and they have barley twist legs, how about that? 
And this is more of a rustic look. I like the steamer trunk. I'm sure if it could tell stories, it's had an interesting life and that's really a fair price. You see those go for much more than that. These little ottomans are nice. I like the geometric pattern. And that's really a good deal. A great storage for a bedroom. This lamp is lovely. Celadon, love it. The pine look would even go with farmhouse, which is not my favorite style, but I think that it lends itself to many different looks. $100 for a pair of lamps. Definitely want to jump on that if you're trying to find something with great storage that's very rustic and quality. And rugs can get very expensive, and I find that their prices are really fantastic. Everything's presented well, it's clean. You could spend thousands on just one rug, so this definitely is something to consider if you're looking to add that to your home. This card table would be great for a new apartment or for college kids with the chairs. Lots of different eras represented here. This is a, definitely an old one. And a hall tree, if you have the space for it in your entry, that would be great for when guests arrive and need to put their coats. You could even stash your keys there as you walk in the door. It's a very English look. And I think it's always good to have a mirror in your entryway. And you know, I can't help myself. I have to showcase some of the pretties. This looks like it's Limoges. I love that yellow color. It's a bit unusual. And this tea set is so nice, brand new. And the neat thing is you could actually furnish an entire home and it looks like you've traveled the world. Just build a collection in, in an hour by shopping here. This piece I actually looked at, I really like it. The oversized bouquet vase from Waterford Crystal is one that came out in the 90s. I almost ordered that for my wedding to feature on the tables. Love the Waterford and they display everything so nicely. I like the oversized bouquet. I wish I would have bought those for my wedding. These I actually purchased for about 35 at uh, the Brentwood, Tennessee estate sale and they're very old world Waterford. The Lismore Martini glasses. That's a really good price for the pair. I think they're probably $80 each. And this I actually sourced retail online and I think that the price needs to go down a little bit because I think the retail was about $250, brand new. It's a great piece. $32 for Waterford clock, Waterford hand cooler, shot glasses. Let's get a closer look at this. It's almost like you're in a museum when you're looking at all these collections. And that's brand new in a box. Japanese Tiger for $145. Lots of stemware, candle holders. That's a Matsuyuna-sen piece with a seal design. And these glasses are exquisite. Love that shade of blue. There's so many different collections. They do a really good job of putting things together. I like the Delft piece. It looks like a kind of a triangle ashtray. You could float flowers in it. Look at the gold rim stemware. This is the trolley sugar bowl from a set that Waterford once made. It was my first piece of Waterford gifted to me by a dear friend. It was my graduation gift. And I use it for cinnamon and sugar for French toast in the morning. That's the Eileen pattern. A little creamer, you could use that for syrup or milk. That's an excellent price. It's not a, a matching set. These glasses are so nice and they look to be brand new. Rose bowls are one of my favorites. You can do so much with those. Little honey pot jam jar, looks to be very old European. This is an interesting piece. I didn't really know about Heritage Irish Crystal, so I had to research it. It's actually made in Waterford by former Waterford Design and Master Cutters. That looks like the Winwood pattern from Waterford Crystal. For six pieces, 120 with boxes, wow. That's a really good deal. Excellent. These are brand new Pilsner glasses. And it wouldn't be a visit to the Charity Guild shop without some Wedgwood Jasperware. That's the Swedish piece again from Matsuyuna-san. I think I would wait for that price to go down a bit. Those blue glasses are incredible. And you should always look at the price tags and it depends on the date. If it's something that they have recently put out, it'll be full price. That's a hand-painted Fenton basket. 
So that's $25 at full price. But then if you look at the tag, you'll see that after one month, the price goes down 25%. And then a month later, it goes down 33%. And then each subsequent month, it goes down another 50%. So basically, it's almost free at the end. This is a Wedgwood pitcher. Just love that ivory color. The Hanover Gold from Marquis by Waterford was their launch in the mid 90s, and that was their most popular pattern. My mother had these depression glass sherbets. She had the swirl, and the pink is pretty too. It's nice to mix them as well. And there's so much glassware. Any of these would make a great gift. I know it can be overwhelming, it's all blending together. This cake stand is a steal for $10. Wow. And especially as the price goes down, I like to stack them. Before you had all these towers that they make now in the metalware and the china, uh, we would build them. We would put a compote on top. You could surround that with maybe some fruit and a dip in the center. These glass plates are pretty. I think they've had quite a life. The Marquis by Waterford Cornucopia vase. That's a deal for 18. And they try to pull things that are on the last price and have them in a small section. That For $8, wouldn't that be a great gift? You could even weave a ribbon through it. It's really great to shop for glassware. You can find anything from this cut crystal to a very simple dishwasher safe wine glass. Liqueur glasses are great, cognac. And you can also use them for mouthwash or for anything. You could just find a really pretty one by itself and use it in a bathroom. So many beautiful lamps. I like the crackle glass. This looks to be Polish pottery. Here's that Marquis by Waterford Hanover Gold vase again. They made tableware and stemware in that pattern. I like the art glass and that looks like a trumpet vase. Wouldn't that be beautiful on a table? And punch bowls, you know I am partial to them. I think they're gonna have a huge comeback. It's not often that you see them putting new product out while you're shopping. That, that, I knew that was Tiffany. It just had the look about it. And um, she was nice enough to let me just take a sneak peek. This is a pattern that I've seen a couple of times at another resale. It's made by Rural Worcester and it's the Evesham pattern. It's quite an extensive collection and it looks to be priced separately. So I guess if that were your pattern and you just wanted a baker, then you could purchase that. Love the Polish pottery and you know I'm partial to Delft. I've already chosen that vase for 15. That would make a great gift and if it's gone down, which it has, even better. Blue and white is classic. My friend has this pattern. I think that's Courier Knives. And what a gorgeous tea set. It's not often that you find Danish pottery or fine china. Look at that. From Copenhagen, Denmark. Oh, it's exquisite. There's so much to see. Here's some Kennedy busts. And beautiful, beautiful collections. My friend is getting this set of hand-painted salt cellars. You could actually use these as nut cups, float a little flower in them at each place setting. There was another lady that came in looking for that small collection. Such fun. Make sure that you take lots of time when you're going to a charity resale. Don't be rushed. Looks like it's from Portugal. Yes, they make some beautiful hand-painted pottery. Gorgeous hand-painted pieces. Wouldn't that be pretty just in a bedroom just with some essentials on a nightstand? Lots of classic white. My friend has this Villarin box switch pattern. I think it's called Switch 3. Lots of teapots. That's interesting. The ladies at the beach. I used to have this same lemon pitcher. I had quite a collection and I ended up giving it away because I just shifted gears, which is perfectly fine. You don't have to keep your collection forever. This Majolica made in Hungary teapot is a deal for 15. Classic white will go with anything. Well, Denmark is definitely represented today. Royal Copenhagen dishes. That could be 
on a coffee table, bedside table, or use them as coasters. This is my Villa Rainbach French Garden pattern. $10 for a pair of mugs. Oh yes, please. Glad to have these. They always create beautiful displays and I spy a Port Mirian cash pot. Look at the beautiful teapot for $30. Okay, I'm definitely getting this. My daughter has this dish pattern that she started collecting. And this is one of the originals from the Botanic Garden collection. It's $12, that's a steel. That could be used for a utensil holder as well. And let's go back to this case. I think I might get this pitcher from Wedgwood. I like that it's a cream color. And you know, I'm all about pitchers. I featured some collections and then also ideas. This could be used as a vase as well. And for that price, it'd be a great gift for someone. Don't ever discount that. It doesn't have to be new in a box to give as a gift. Although this is in a box and for $8, a small ring tray, you can't get a Hallmark card for much less than that. There's a Hummel figurine, and this looks like Rosenthal, a German Chinese manufacturer. And I have a collection of these Beatrix Potter figurines. There's Jeremy Fisher, Balik. That's a really good price on that, $22. And my friend has discovered this dessert set with a cake plate and dessert plates. It looks to be RS Prussia. Very nice. Oh, she's so happy with this. Kind of goes with the salt cellars that she's chosen as well. And the Linux Rose, I have a large platter that is encased in sterling silver. I don't have the actual china pattern. That would be fun to add. Blue Danube, I love the classic blue and white. My aunt has this pattern. And what they've done here is they priced each type of item as a grouping. So the luncheon plates are together, dinner plates are separate which I guess is not a bad idea if you have someone that maybe has the pattern just adding to it. Classic white would go very well with that blue Danube as well. Like the coffee cups. The geranium pattern from Villarin Bach was said to be Princess Diana's breakfast pattern. Our village is about 25 minutes away from the factory. That's just what we've always heard. It's a nice souffle dish. It's a retired pattern. Great place to go to add artwork or to change your look. Look, that's gone down to $23.75, a Renoir print. Oh, that's amazing. You could fill up a wall with that. Signed and numbered, and that's gone down as well. There are so many bargains to be had, whether you're setting up a new household, college apartment, or just revamping your look. There's original art as well. And they're really great about showcasing these items and letting you know what's original or what price has gone down. Some architectural looks there. Just beautiful. It makes me want to redecorate. And those hummingbird prints are beautifully framed. I like anything botanical. They're signed and numbered. Wow, what a deal. And those are interesting too. This looks like it might be Prague, although they say it's Venice. This champagne bucket is silver plate and what a great statement piece for $40 that would make a wonderful gift. And if you bought a tea service, your friends would think it's a family heirloom. Look at this, what a deal. That's just the teapot. They priced it individually for some reason. This is an interesting piece. It's gone down to $47.50. It's hand chased and it is from Holland. It's quite exquisite and I was drawn to it, but it has a story and in the end you will see that maybe it was not meant to be mine. But for now I'll put it at the front and walk around thinking that it's going home with me. This Reed and Barton leaf plate, I've never seen this before. What a great dish, make a wonderful gift. Silver plated baskets were often placed at the front entry. What a deal for $18 for calling cards. They have a vast collection of silver plate, a carefully curated collection that you could easily take home and make your own. Start a new tradition in your family and don't ever shy away from buying silver plated hollowware or flatware because you'll find that it's actually easier to care for than you could imagine. 
a tall potpourri ball. I haven't seen that in years. This silver plated trivet for $8 is a steal. We've given that to our friends and family in Germany before. They do covet that. It's expensive in Europe. It's not easy to find silver plate and it's quite expensive. So that makes a really great gift. This is a Lunt Porringer. And I use the Haggerty's Silver Polish Spray and Polishing Gloves. And you would be amazed at how quickly you can clean your silver. It's so easy. This Formica lined tray was popular in the 60s and 70s. The Pearl Inlay, I think that's from Toll. I found a tray at an estate sale that matches that. And now we're looking at some more metalware. This is not silver plate, but it's actually um, metal that doesn't require polishing. It's an Arthur Court, new in a box. These candelabras, I'm thinking they were meant to be on the floor. That's quite amazing for $99, made of nickel. And I always like to check out the jewelry. This is Kendra Scott. They have quite a collection here. It's a Texas designer that is sold throughout the country. They have lovely boutique stores. And it's a lot of fashion jewelry, but then you also find some of the sterling and 14 karat. This is James Avery, another Texas designer. It's sold in Dillard's and in their own stores across the country. I've been wearing it since I was two years old. Love looking at all the jewelry. And of course, these are the more valuable items and lots and lots of costume and fashion. And here's another case with some specialty items. You just never know what you'll find. And it's interesting because you could buy something that has been made since the 60s. Remember to look up when you go to a charity resale or a Goodwill. They frequently will have great lighting wear and they do a really good job of making gigantic tags so that you can easily see the pricing. And don't shy away if it's missing a shade because there are so many ways to find those affordably at Goodwill or Habitat for Humanity Restore. I like that brass lamp, it has an interesting shape to it. Look at the pair of crystal lamps. Oh, I really wish I would have bought these. Those would look great on my bedside tables. Bleikristall, that means it's crystal from Germany. The square shades are so fun. And you see different eras here as well. And there's one that's more of an architectural look, very masculine. I like that. I bought my daughter a Waterford lamp here for her college dorm and then later moved to her college apartment. And it's nice when you can occasionally find a matching pair. Here we've got lots of singles. The cobalt lamps are exquisite. Oh, I really should have bought these too. But you've got to have the room for them. Either you have to upgrade and sell what you already have or just let them go. So didn't get them. Look at these beautiful fixtures. It's hard to tell when you see them and they're not lit. They're not installed, obviously. But use your imagination. One of my favorite pieces I found at Southern Comforts in Atlanta, and it's the showstopper in my home. These are very simple and elegant. I like these glass lamps. And again, we have a pair for a steal, $12. I just can't believe the prices. It would be really hard to pay retail for a lamp. That brass for 25 is nice. Look at the crystal sconce on it. Hurricane. Now it's time to pay for our purchases. It's been a very long day. And my friend is happy with her dessert set and the Rosenthal German China that goes with her collection. And there's the Wedgwood pitcher. I'm so happy with it. Got some real treasures today. And the Dutch piece. Well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. It was nice while it lasted. Such a beautiful piece. And those salt cellars are great. I'm so glad you joined me today for the Charity Guild Shop. I did try to focus a bit more on furniture and lamps, and you know, I still had to check out the china crystal and silver that is near and dear to me. And as I was checking out, I was very excited to meet a new friend a lady that was helping to package up the items. She's a volunteer, as all the wonderful ladies here are. She mentioned that she is from the Netherlands, and this was a piece from Holland. And the case
cake pedestal, absolutely exquisite. I was so excited to bring it home. But in the end, I thought she might actually enjoy it more, being from Holland. And I hope that she finds joy with it. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your every day with charity resale shopping.